Russia to say farewell to USSR's last leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, in funeral snubbed by Putin. Moscow CNN. Russia says said farewell to the last leader of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, on Saturday in a funeral that has been snubbed by President Vladimir Putin. The public farewell ceremony for Gorbachev, who died this week at the age of 91, came to the close, close despite the people still waiting outside ter- their turn to pay their respect. It lasted around three and a half hours. The ceremony took place in Moscow's Hall of Columns, a storied burn- venue has hosted the state funerals of the former Soviet leaders like Joseph Stalin and Vladimir Lenin. Gorbachev was buried next to his wife, Raisa, later in the day at Novodevich Cemetery. Why lionize in the West for West for ending the Cold War, Gorbachev is seen as the Faria. Paria at home for the chaos caused by his economic reforms, creating the circumstances that made a strong man like Putin attractive to many Russians. Putin blamed Gorbachev for the demise of the USSR, which he called the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century, and has said about restoring Russia's wounded prestige. Putin missed the Saturday's funeral due to his work schedule, according to Kremlin <coughs> spokesman Dmitry Peskov. The Russian leader did, however, pay his respect to Gorbachev on Thursday. Footage showed Putin laying Putin lying a bouquet of roses by the open coffin in Central Cl- Clinical Hospital, Putin then bowed and made the sign of the cross. Hundreds of people lined up Saturday outside the Hall of Columns for the final look at Gorbachev, whose body lay lie in open casket flanked by two soldiers in the ornate chan- chandelier or adorned room. Members of Gorbachev's family, including his daughter Irina Biganskaya and his two granddaughters, sat up to the side. Many of the ordinary Russians who came to pay their respect laid roses and bouquets or took photographs. One Russian citizen who came wanted to thank Gorbachev for bringing democracy to Russia and opening it to the world. Another woman told the Reuters that the former Soviet leader deserved a proper farewell. I think he did more good things than bad. The older generation that, ha- that are here, they remember him and they came to say goodbye. That's what it is, she said. People stand in the line to attend the farewell ceremony for Mikhail Gorbachev and on Saturday. The Kremlin stopped the short of classifying Saturday's event as a state funeral for Gorbachev, with each spokesperson saying it would be it would have an element of the state funeral, including a guard of honor and the state assisting in the organization. No explanation was provided on how the event differed from previous state funerals. Gorbachev grew more critical of Putin and his increasingly re- restrictive regime in recent years. Traveling the world, pro- promoting free speech and democracy as part of its foundation. While Gorbachev himself did not comment on Putin's decision to invade Ukraine, his foundation called for peace negotiations, saying there is nothing more pre- precious in the world than human lives. The coffin containing the body of Mikhail Gorbachev is carried in a, in for a funeral ceremony in Moscow's Hall of Columns on Saturday. The last Russian leader not to be granted a state funeral was Nikita Khrushchev. 
who was deposed for attempting to roll back Stalinist reforms. He, di he died after living in seclusion in 1971, and his funeral was held in semi-secrecy. Saturday's funeral was a marked contrast to the death of Russia's first democratically elected president, Boris Yeltsin, who has handpicked Putin to be his successor. The Kremlin announced a day of national mourning following Yeltsin's death in 2007, and his funeral was attended by a host of world leaders, including Putin, former U.S. President Bill Clinton, and George Bush, Britain's former Prime Minister John Major, and Prince Andrew, as well as former policy president Lech Walesa. Gorbachev's funeral lacked a similar roster of famous guests as Moscow has banned hundreds of foreign officials from entering Russia in retaliation for Western sanctions. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban and U.S. Ambassador to Russia John Sullivan were among the few dignitaries spotted at the remembrance. Speaking to CNN, Sullivan called Gorbachev a remarkable man and a statesman who changes the world with his vision for peace, for transformation in his own country and in the world. CNN's Frederick Plagan reported from Moscow, Tara John wrote in London, 